It's like, you just kidding. Oh, no, nah, it's this. Oh, yeah, I see a nigga. Why are you doing in my property? Oh, no. The hell? I'm, I'm here to pick up a package. Oh, no. bam, 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 bam. That's... Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy, BX, and welcome to another episode of Flight on the Wall. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It's me, your girl, Sharon. So, an 81-year-old white male fatally shot a black African-American lady in Ohio. So, let's get straight into the video. We're going to turn now to the tragic, tragic story. This one out of Ohio. Deadly encounter between two people who did not know each other and were both victims of phone scammers. Victim one, 81-year-old William Brock, received threatening calls last month saying his family was in danger and demanding money. And then the scammers also called an Uber driver, Lolita Hall, to pick up a package from Brock's home. Brock then confronted her with a gun, believing that she was connected to the threats he'd been receiving. Get off and now my he's property. charged with Hall's murder. Lily Luciano has the story, and we have to warn you, the video is disturbing. Help! Lalitha Hall screamed for help as William Brock confronted her with a gun. But as the Uber you don't driver actually think tried do to it. flee, police yeah, say the 81-year-old resident shot her multiple times. And then he called 911. I shot her in the leg the first time, and I shot her in the shoulder. Why did you do that? Because I was threatened that she was going to come and kill me. The county sheriff's office says Brock was the subject of a scam call concerning an incarcerated relative, which turned to threats and a demand for money. Police say Hall, the driver, was also contacted either by the same scammer or an accomplice to pick up a package from Brock's residence through the Uber app. The guy on the phone here. Okay. Oh. So the male on the phone was trying to get money from you, and she was knocking on the door at the same time? Yeah. He, sounds and he was telling me he was going to kill me and the family and everybody else around. Hall, who was 61, died from her injuries in the hospital. Police say she made no threats or assaults towards Brock before the shooting, other than to ask about the package she was sent to retrieve. They also say Brock took her cell phone and refused to let her leave. Last week, Brock was charged with felony murder, and now he could face 15 years to life behind bars, plus a $15,000 fine. He has pleaded not guilty. What does the prosecution need to prove in this case? That Brock knew he was using deadly force, and what the prosecution is going to say is there is just no reason to shoot three times when somebody is trying to leave your property. If somebody is trying to flee, almost by definition, they are no longer posing a threat. Uber says it has banned the account of the person who ordered Hall's trip and has been in touch with both her family and Clark County law enforcement. It's hard to know if the alleged scammers will be held liable for Hall's death is something that I asked Jessica Levinson. She says it's not clear that they could have predicted that the ruse would lead to this horribly deadly uh, aye, tragic aye. outcome. That video. So my thing. Yeah. My thing. This is America. Reoccurring theme. Sorry to be so blunt about just seeing an, yet again an, another black person being gunned down in cold blood, isn't it? Yeah. Like, what what else do you see when you watch something like that? I don't know. It's just like I think even both of them, you know, like they're both so old they can both barely walk. Like, what is going on? What is going on in the world? If this is how this is where we are. This is a time we're living in where an old 81-year-old is walking around the car and threatening a 61-year-old woman to get off his property, taking her mobile phone, won't let her leave, and then shoots her, not once, twice, three times. Like, honestly, it's just so tragic. The tragic loss of life for no particular reason, apart from people playing a, a prank a scam a ruse that's what she said they said at the end did you hear yeah. like there's no there's no um certainty whether the people who actually held the scam can be held accountable why not why the hell uber's got all of that information 
Because you know what? I don't even want to get into the whole conflict. I mean, I know what the conversation is with the, the, the two the, the people involved. We understand, mm -hmm. right? But Uber actually should be held accountable. I'm tired of these massive organisations, these companies being like, oh. We got in know, contact with a family. And, we've, we are, and said what? We all lose the sleep. And done what? What, you mean Uber? Uber doesn't. Are you joking? How can you have an account that you can't say during this time we have isolated the call? This call came from here. This is a person who signed up for the account. These are the information that they've provided. Because for you to exactly. have an Uber account, for them to pay for that, they must have paid a little bit. They've taken some money out of someone's account. For that lady to go to someone's house, the Uber's already started. Right? The, the trip has already started. So give the FBI what they need and say that you're fully cooperating with finding the killers of this woman. This is so senseless absolutely senseless you know there's so many things at play here uber's responsibility in this massive a massive conglomerate and their lack of re like responsibility and accountability for this the old white man with a gun in his house <laughs> threatened that an old lady's gonna come there and steal yeah okay things can happen but it, through that video you can see she's literally walking backwards screaming help me help me twice she goes around the car why are people in america allowed to have guns because it's America. Yeah, just Uber's rhetoric on this is mouth-dropping. It's crazy about, oh, yeah, we've just banned the fucking person that... <laughs> Accounts didn't exist. <laughs> it didn't exist. These are people out here doing... They're playing games with people's actual lives. That man has lost the rest of his life, and that lady, the it's grandma... Some collateral damage. Two people lost their life. For for some some punk at home that's not strong enough Two to go outside and go lost, work that lost their life. What? What do you mean by that? He has he through yeah. that through the action. He's of saying he's, his life yeah, his life has gone as well for nothing. But I'm gonna stop you there yeah. because that's barbaric, that's inhumane behavior. Mm. Like, come on, eighty one year old. Like, this shit just reminds me of just gun tooting. American, like, psychopaths. Yeah. You know, where you think a gun is is the resolution to everything. Mm. You know, in America, they've got that mentality of, you know, having a gun to protect mm. your home, to protect mm. your family, you know, with this assault rifle or an alternative gun. So, and that is, that, that represents... Mm. That situation represents that. Yeah, right? I mean, he was born in the nineteen forties, so he he looks like proper. Uh, it was he wants. To look, he looks like a redneck, but he looks you know like that stereotype. Mm. You know, get off of my property. Mm. You know that flipping hillbilly. Mm. You know, gun fanatic. <laughs> well, he doesn't look like a gun fanatic. I understand what you're saying though, but what part of it do you think? Yeah, also yeah the but media it's, has it's, to play it's, on this. The whole point is like. Can't you read the room? Can't you read the situation? Mm. It's like, are you just kidding? Oh, no, nah, who's this? Oh, yeah, I see a nigga. Why are you doing in my property? Oh, no, help. I'm, I'm here to pick up a package. Oh, no. bam, 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 bam. That's... It, it was like, it's like someone, something come over him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where Where is your ration, rationale? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Eight, 81 year like, did you hear him on the phone, like... On the phone, sorry, in an interview, they were asking him, like, why did you do it? Yeah. He's like, I thought someone was just threatening to kill he me. He was so casual about it. Yeah. It's like there's no one there. Mm. Like, mm. there's no soul there. It's mm. just like, yeah, you know, I've been getting threats. You know, I just see this old elderly lady come, like, come towards my home and then, oh, it's just... My issue with this is that, actually, the gun laws in America are absolutely atrocious. Like, you know how... When you, when you reach a certain age, you're not allowed to drive a car. There should be a certain age when you're unable to have own a gun. You shouldn't even you shouldn't even own a gun. It should not be legal for people to own guns in their country because stuff like this happens. Like, what happens is you, you lose sight of the value of life. Do you know what I mean? In that situation, you're so old. What are you still fighting for? Why have you got yourself so wound up into a situation you can't think with your mind and you think someone's going to come... And still, even if someone wanted to take your, your belongings, like, why would you... Oh, there's just so much. This is just such a shame. And the way in which they apprehended him, <laughs> it was so casual. Yeah. 
Like, you, if you know if that was a black man or a person of colour, like, look, just look how police come for P. Diddy, like the FBI, yeah. how they come for P. Diddy. Yeah. P. Diddy. Like, they, it's like they came from somewhere like on the FBI's most wanted list. <laughs> like, they fucking... What are you going to do next? Like, in offer him a fucking uh, a burger? Like, yeah. like they did to that white supremacist who shot up those boom, the black people in that church. Oh, yeah. They gave him a hamburger. Like, they, don't, they don't come with the same force yeah. when it comes to um, white perpetrators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just don't. Yeah, because you have to have... But the good thing is he's been charged. Yeah, uh, this is at that least, is, like, I mean, no, it shouldn't, it shouldn't even be that. It shouldn't even be that we're like, oh, well, at least he's been charged. It's like, no, that is what has to happen. This man killed that woman in cold blood. Cold blood. This, like, crazy. This is a, the cra- this is America. This is literally mm-hmm. America. So, what, yeah, so what, when you're just like, oh, well, what, what's wrong with this country and their gun laws? Well, it's, the country's built on violence. Yeah, the Wild <laughs> West. It's actually the Wild West. What you have to understand is that this country is built, yeah, it's built, it's for the foundations of that country were built on, on violence, basically. The way that the, the uni- United States of America, as we know it today, is formed, was the foundation has always been... Um, resting on the shoulders of barbaric, inhumane treatment of other people, of kin, of people who you're supposed to uh, value as human beings. So when I see things like this, I it's just crazy that this has even happened. It's just bonkers. And it just normalises black pain and black trauma. How many times do people see it on the news? And what's the representation of that every time yeah. on the news? And they always like to push that image of, you know, whether it's Trayvon Martin, you know, getting shot with that pussy mm. <laughs> You know, always on the news. Ah, oh, another um, black black man's being gunned down. You know, another teenager, um, black teenager being gunned down. Um, black female being gunned down. You know, Tamira Rice. Black woman in her own home, <laughs> you know. But then, wouldn't there this? So, wouldn't it be wrong if they didn't also um, report on it in that same? Book? No, it's 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 the way in which they do it. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Because if you want to show um, videos of white people killing white people, yeah, you can show that all day long. Yeah. You know, white people are the majority in America. Mm. Yeah, but again. It's, I think this is done intentionally, mm, 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 intentionally to reinforce that that trauma. Yeah, you know, and your lives can be taken exactly. What does yeah, yeah, time. yeah, and to like what sort of seed does that plant? And mm. because for me, actually looking at that video, I'm just like, even an 81 year old man will kill a black. Do you understand? One year old, like this even my like, the dehumanization. Like, even even so, my so mom casual. is not safe. Yeah, do, do you understand? Like, my mom, uh, my mom is like, you know, she's not fit, and she would be literally moving away at that speed. Like they're old people. Do you understand? Like, like she couldn't hardly like see around. how in shock she was and yeah. how, bro. Oh. It's crazy. It's crazy that that is normalized. Actually, what you're saying is that that it shows you that in at any age. You, as if you're, this is who you are in America. Your life is cheap. Yeah, can, it's able to be taken by anybody, and he can just go to prison. And he's like, you know, I shot this. Like, I, I just, I never understand that they can say. I just never understand in America how people can say it with chess. Yeah, I killed this person. And this is also the other thing I want to say. I just want to flip the script. I want to also say that in America, you know, not all black people are very uh, behave well as well we have to understand both sides of the coin of you see what i mean and it's like but it's the way that the media portray things and the responsibility that they have to actually show things in the best light like i think you touched on something really good there about how black trauma is constantly reinforced you know and it's always seen we're always shown as the helpless victim yeah Exactly. Like cowering, or if we are, or if it's not, it's like this uber intense, hyper masculine, black on black gang war crime where it's mm-hmm. like the, 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 op- the epitome of the gangster yeah. and like extremes, not just an everyday woman like that. You know, you're reduced to either something so benign or something so feared that actually when you kill each other and you cancel each other out in gang fight, in gang crimes, it's 
we don't need to worry about it because actually you're both all of you are baddies mm -hmm, yeah. and in this situation oh my god you're all black black like you know innocent people again we're never ever because when there's a a mass shooting you know what did you what did you in america and tim yeah. cast was yeah. saying how when there's a mass shooting in america yeah. and if it's not somebody white there was yeah. one that happened recently oh in the what is it staple set what was that um well we'll Super bring it Bowl. up Super Bowl. Super Bowl right yeah exactly yeah you know the the exchange of fire was, yeah. was between two black youth but the media which they the way they reported it was like they weren't they didn't want to disclose the identity yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. of the of the, the people involved they wanted to run with a narrative yeah. of that there's been a, a mass it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah by a white man yeah yeah yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's a you know what i mean that's yeah, a big yeah. narrative so tim yeah. cast is saying like well, you know what well, no, 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 no this is what happened yeah <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm he's done his um, research yeah and he's, he's not being racist yeah what he's saying is very true yeah and coulter shocks bill maher as she says if super bowl parade shooters were white we'd know their identities by now let's see i think uh, let's see if the, the daily mail has the clip here they do so let's uh let's play the clip for you who did this shooting by the way the, the, the Super Bowl shooting. We have we, some idea. What? If it were a white man shooting, we'd know. Who, well, we don't know. But they, I mean, they That's how we know it's not a white man. I can tell you that much. Do you think they were, they were repressing that reporting? They wouldn't tell us about the um, transgender woman that shot up the Christian school for what, like a year? Um, oh, San Bernardino out here. Remember the crazy terrorist Muslims? I, that's when I first noticed, hmm, they're not telling us who it is. I, it's not a white male. The longer they go without telling you, it's not a white male. Okay, anyway. well, <laughs> we don't, we, for this one, for right now, as of Friday night, February 16th, we, know. we, don't, we don't officially know. <laughs> okay, you know you have special powers. <laughs> you have special powers. Wow, Bill, Ann Coulter has the ability to read the news and then make logical conclusions. To be fair... He's saying we don't officially know. And that was true. That was true. But then to snarkily go on and say, you have special powers. Look, Van Coulter was sitting here with me and said, well, if it was a white man, they'd have reported. I'd say, seems to be the case, doesn't it? When you get a shooting and it's a white man, the news drops immediately. In fact, when it came to Kyle Rittenhouse, not only did they, did they release the name of a minor, he was 17, they falsely claimed he shot black people. <laughs> he said, no, we have to actually say the facts because actually in this situation, Black people also can in have, and I think the issue, the, the thing here actually, what I've realised is about the representation. The of liberals. Power. No, no, no. It's, <laughs> about the, it's about the representation of power. Do you see what I mean? Because when you are able to conduct, I know it's really dark here, but if you can conduct a mass shooting, it means you are killing multiple people at once, right? And to mentally like and and those multiple people can be of any creed race or color right but for you to do that as a black person shows that you have the power to extinguish all types of life right and if you if 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 you do that as a but when you said a gang on gang like you know mass murdering it's fine do you see what i mean yeah, so we just, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It's mass shootings in America are, is looked through a specific lens. lens exactly. Mass shootings. Ha what's the drive by? <laughs> no, that's a mass shooting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you, know you drive saying? by and you kill three, even if and you, uh, any, any, a mass killing is more than one person that you've killed. Right, right. So exactly. that can be two people. Mm -hmm. their, right. their drive bys would kill multiple people. That happens in Nine, the hood. 10, 15 people. All the time. Innocent people get killed all the time in the hood. Exactly. Drive bys. And, but, or, but, or, or from shootouts. But that's black on black crime, mm -hmm. right? But if it's. Uh, and then you've got school shoot shootings where one that like, white kid might kill three people. It's less than what the gang drive by is killed, but it's considered as oh, a mass. It's even described <laughs> as a mass shoot, yeah. a mass shooting. Do you yeah. see what I mean? Yeah. And and I know I don't. There's wanna, more. Don't, there's more outrage when that happens. Exactly, that but that's <laughs> because, because. But I don't want to glamorize this. But actually, it's about the representation of power. Oh, exactly. If you're able. The wording mm -hmm. shows the language. We exactly shows how the power balance is. Exactly. So, oh, it's all about that. So you will never want to say, "Oh my gosh, there was this guy. It was a gang 
in the gang related and it was a mass shooting. Exactly. You, that changes the dynamic. But if you say exactly, it's a gang, exactly. if it's yeah. a gang drive by, yeah, yeah. it's a drive by. You just, they just, pop, <laughs> they're just popping bullets. All right, all right, These right. guys are serious. They're it's, even it's more casual. Com- that's yeah, that's that's casual. that's the norm. <laughs> yeah. That's not a big deal. You know what I'm These saying? people are just doing those it. Negroes yeah, have been doing, doing that it. since. Yeah. <laughs> but when you go into a school, now, they won. <laughs> but when you go into a school or when you're killing, people, even like that. Um, the Norwegian guy. Do you remember the Norwegian guy? Oh, that guy. Ages ago. Yeah. yeah. Why well, was just people didn't let down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. But he seemed like a mad... So when, when white people go off the rails, they can kill big, they can kill strong, and they can kill in an organised way. And you should be afraid of that. But when black people are killing, yeah. it's like, it's a drive-by. It's not that big a yeah. deal. And um, when they do address the mass shooting... Yeah. And it's a white person who's done it. Yeah. And it's always the rhetoric, the reporting is mental health. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had a difficult yeah. childhood. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and and you can say to some extent, gang shootings, drive bys. There's a lot of mental health running around. For you to go and drive by and watch people mow down. And you're the person who's, or you've, no, you've even, that's absurd. That's the, the mental health doesn't exist in the hood. No, no that's absurd. No, what they do is yeah. the norm. No, but this is what I mean. <laughs> They're all function. No, you're like if you think about it, that's crazy for you to go and or even if you organise it, anyone who even sends out that order and says you lot go down there and do that, all that is unhinged. You're an unhinged mm-hmm. person. Yeah. Like there's 100%. stuff you need to talk about. So what? So why is it that you can have mm-hmm. mental health? And this is how you react, and it's like you're sentenced accordingly. You're managed in a different way. But this, like you just said, actually, now I'm, I've, you know, you've. I, right. this, is, this is barbaric. Drive bys, yeah, in general, happen at a much disproportionate rate. Yeah, <laughs> much disproportionate, higher rate than actual mass shootings yeah. <laughs> carried out by white men or white boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. So, the me- uh, the media, especially now, all the mainstream outlets in America now, got onto YouTube as well. Yeah. So it's the they're pushing that trauma, yeah. that no, black trauma in your yeah. face now even yeah. more. Yeah. <laughs> With those kind of like thumbnails, you're yeah. seeing you're seeing a white, a black a old white man now killing like the, backing out a gun <laughs> like to a def- defenseless black woman. Like what 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 is the connotations here? What yeah. is the undertone here? Yeah. Like. You know? Yeah. So, like, oh, it's, it's just... It's actually... It's a see, And that's not the... And as a, as the media, I think, actually, you know, as we move into this age of, like, I think collective awareness, where everyone's just like, Yo, hey, um, is everyone else feeling like this is a bit weird? Mm-hmm. I think you can understand now the responsibility everyone needs to take when you are doing whatever you're doing whatever whatever religion you have whatever profession you have whatever like industry you're in you have to understand and acknowledge and be held accountable for the responsibility you have in that said field that you're in media media coverage reporting journalism you are supposed to be the beacons of Maybe let's not say media because media can sometimes be classed as like um, entertainment, yeah? But let's do journalism and reporting, news. You are supposed to be the beacons of truth. You are the truth bearers. You are completely transparent. You give impartial information based on facts. Mm -hmm. We have clear understandings of how we feel. Everyone watching this YouTube video as well, you and I as well, we know how the media makes us feel about certain people and certain things that they do, whether it be right or wrong. Why is that? Mm-hmm. We should all have one specific view on mm-hmm. things. We should all have a similar understanding of what a mass shooting mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. Who can do a mass shooting? Exactly. A mad person. Exactly. We should all have an understanding of what um, a drive-by is. A mass shooting. Mm-hmm. That's the same. Mm-hmm. But, we have, very, but we have very... Exactly. <laughs> why is it all being split up? No, 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 no. We need to all get back into a time where things are what they actually are. Real, recognise real and save what they are for what they are. Because exactly. then we're able to actually start to treat each other with the fairness and the understanding and the 
and the equality that we actually need. But is that what the mainstream no, of course want? not. That's <laughs> not so it's actually our responsibility as these smaller people who identify. Or those of you who are even or independent media, like yeah, blind wall. small perspective, no. or people just in your community, in your in your groups as well. Like we need to start having these conversations that encourage and foster honest, authentic, like discourse discourse about these mm, topics. Yep. You know, because actually, when I'm watching that, this is mad. This man, this old man is mad. Anyhow, that, imagine if that was a black man. Like this is. You, but the media wouldn't push it the same. They wouldn't push it. It would be, it would be <laughs> news from Ohio. A crazy man has just killed, gunned down. It Love. would have been words like gun down. That was a the, tragic... Did you see how it, they started it? it was, honestly. This is a tragic end mm -hmm. to a, a hoax or something like that. It's like... Even if there was a point in, not too long ago, I can't remember when, but... When, like, police shootings of black people was getting out of hand and people started retaliating against police officers. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, killing police officers yeah. in cold blood. Yeah. But the, the media does not want to report on that. Mm. Does they do not want to it put that on screen. It doesn't, it doesn't sustain their record. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not in line with what our brand... Our brand. Right. Or, or the, the, there's a fear to encourage people to, yeah. to, act, to act up the same way. So they, they're very meticulous. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not the response. And intentional the news, in what though. they're doing. <laughs> the news is supposed to be based on facts. We This shows you as well that the society isn't trusted to make their own opinion. There are a select few people in the world who decide what, you, what the Wait. narrative is, uh, oh, what they oh, want you to think course. about. They have an idea of how... Well, you can look, we should be able to look at that video without the commentary and come to our own conclusions based on that video. Of course. In my head, I'm also like, where are the neighbours? Why is no one coming outside seeing this old man walking around, backing this woman around in the corner? Oh, this, this Where was everybody? That is America, though. America will have these mad remote places where, like, I if I, I'm thinking, when I'm just watching that, I'm like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. If I was there in America, I'd be like, do I really want to go there? I don't want to have like, no interest <laughs> in going to that country. Uh, yeah, you're Uber driver. You know what I mean? You don't expect something like that to happen. You just do your job yeah, going about now, your day. Even these poor Uber drivers, it's like, what the hell? This this is what I'm trying to say about Uber as well. Like, no one is being held accountable. If uh, Uber needs to understand that this is a serious... Your drivers are not safe. The amount of cabs I've been that in... That family you're going to see their day in court. The amount of Uber drivers I've been in cars and they're, and sometimes when you look at London, even if we live in London, but when you hear about their stories, how they're spoken to, how much disrespect they take. Yeah, exactly. People just jump in their car, do all mad type of stuff. So, and yeah. then also as Uber drivers are humans, there's also some Uber drivers who are crazy, who yeah. are ruthless, who are, you know, mistreat people. Yeah. You know, women, you have to be careful when you're tra travelling. It's on both sides. Yeah. But this is crazy. Yeah. There's a video of a... Of a basically <laughs> some racist customers and this guy was a young white guy you know we snapped back turned around oh I saw that and he said you can't speak to people like that yeah, no it was like, oh are you white yeah the guy was, said, well, was like said, what what's what that got to do with, 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 with anything yeah you know what I'm saying so and he cancelled the job he was like I don't want you no, I'm gonna fuck me. look he stuck listen yeah. like he proper you know and now on top of it, you've got to deal with people hoax calls. So how many, So how are everyone... What people don't realise is that this is a massive... I, I think also our society doesn't see... We love to disengage from stuff like this. They can look at that video and be like, oh my God, that old man shot that old lady. Pff, there's big ramifications here, you know? Mm -hmm. Uber's going to clamp down on security now. If you don't have a valid account... It's all about mm -hmm. getting identity. Exactly. There's also uh, so many other ramifications from this altercation. They this can't. They, they can't get. They can't get away with being that negligent. Sure. Yeah. There's sure. so many things like that they're gonna be held accountable for now. What the and fuck? these are new businesses that came up and became that they shot up. She over was a, a sitting duck. What is that? And also, you, know, you have to understand death. as well. This probably was just a random thing. Like they must have just asked an Uber driver, but we don't know. We have no idea. We don't know because when you see your Uber drivers, you can see the Uber that picks up your 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 drive your your job, and you can choose to cancel the trip or not. Mm -hmm. Maybe they chose her, maybe they didn't. Because the, the fact that this guy was already getting pranks, um, you know, pranks, threats, yeah, uh, and there hasn't been a cut a, a, a customer with this Uber driver. She's yeah. she's gone. Yeah, there she's gone. By herself she, she went to be to pick killed. up the, the no, no, she packet. Went to her this death. is this she is this is. A, it, it, it was like it's mind blowing. Really Calling the date on purpose or what? Yeah. <laughs> no, this is why when she. I'm not saying it is, but it's just like this is something yeah. out of like, uh, what's it? Get out. <laughs> no, but if you, if you think about how when she was reporting it, she was like, 
the, the account for Uber has been banned. What? That's what it's you. unsure whether the people who, the perpetrators are going to be held account. What, what are you, imagine, just when you say that, how weird, that, how crazy that is. This lady was driving to her death. Literally. By two, by people outside of the of those two who had orchestrated, they're like puppeteers. In, in the workplace, in the workplace, at uni, I've done my dissertation on racism in English football. So obviously you do literature reviews, mm. reading sources on obviously that matter. Mm. And a theme that is v- very ri- rife yeah. is black people getting assaulted in the workplace. Whether it's Sterling, you know, or Vinicius Junior, or this woman right here, you know, again, assaulted in the workplace, you know, another example Mm. of, and obviously black people, African Americans, are killed at a disproportionate rate Mm. um, in America. Yes, the majority of homicides is white on white, but at disproportionate rate, African Americans are be being murdered. Murdered. So she was murdered. It's this is a murder. open. This, it's was, open this wasn't an accident. This wasn't a tragedy. Even that's what I'm saying. All of these things that they're saying, the words are tragedy. She was murdered in cold blood in, in broad daylight by somebody. He murdered her. Yeah, she. Yeah. He asked her questions. It was. He had ample opportunity to be like, you know what? Just get off my lawn. Go away. Shoot into the air. Shoot into the sky. Shoot her tire out. If you don't want her to go anywhere, shoot her car. Yeah. And back into your house. There's so many, all of these options you chose Man, the, because you felt you had that complete yeah, and utter yeah. right to extinguish this person's life. Yeah, it's like mur- murdered in the workplace or m- murdered while you're jogging. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, murdered, just, just murdered. Just murdered in, in your car, yeah. in your home. Yeah, in your home. Inside <laughs> your home, bullets will come. Like, if you're black in America, potentially. Yeah. Like, what, imagine, it's, I've seen a video of this proper, this white man who is... Look, riding, basically driving along, and then he gets pulled by feds, and uh, they're like, "Get out of the car!" We'll take the threatening him. He's like, "No, he knows, he knows the law. He knows the he knows the law, like <laughs> off the top of his head. Mm-hmm. Not even top of his head. What I'm talking about, like literally, you know, it's rehearsed everything. He's like, boom, 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 boom. You lot are wasting my time. I'm not getting out this private automobile. I'm gonna try and find the video. Not getting. They're all playing threats. He's like, if you come in this." Oh, automobile and kidnap me. We're gonna have a gunfight on the side of the street. <laughs> they're like, they're kind of like, he's sticking it on like five of them. Yeah. He, he's like, I'm just trying to educate you on the law. <laughs> he looked like some rocker dude. Like he knew the law inside out, innit? it? But that's how you have to be in and, America. And he say, so I know my rights. Yeah. If you look, try and come into this vehicle. Yeah. We're having a shootout. Yeah. <laughs> They didn't come in. They yeah. didn't come. It got so tense here. Yeah. Yeah. This one man, yeah. this one man, after he, he recorded it, he's like, you're on camera. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, right. Beris or somewhere like that, I'm going to find, I'm going to find a viral video. Yeah. And he walked away from it in the end. And then when, when it got diffused, one of them says, oh man, you didn't have to talk to us like that, <laughs> man. Oh, like, what do you I'm, mean? I'm like, it, it just shows you, you power abusing Pieces of shit, yes. you motherfuckers! That oh. you're in this fucking uniform that makes yeah. you, you know what I mean? Feel like you're, big, you're bigger and better than everyone. But, but when, that's, when, that's when you when you come cr- across a real cowboy, you know what I'm saying? He's ready to ride for his constitutional rights here yeah. yeah, and die, upholding them. Like and obviously white privilege. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> as if that was a black man saying, that, oh, they would have shot the car. Listen, they would have shot the car down. Nearly. They would have blown up the car. Listen. So this is what I'm saying. <laughs> so you see, but like in America, if you don't know your rights like that, that's why people always even, any even chance if you they do, get the ch- even if you do. But any chance people get in America, you always see that that's my constitutional no. right because you have to because it's a lawless it's a lawless state. You can see that the United States of America is lawless. It doesn't matter. Uh, and racist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lawless, racist, all types of madness. If you say that's victim mentality, that, say it's victim mentality. Or don't, this is, I'm, I'm tired of that word that, that gets abused. Mm. <laughs> you try and bring like systematic racism. Racism, structural racism. Yeah. You know, people like to, certain people anyway, mm. like to say it's victim mentality. Yeah. Well, here's another example of victim yeah. mentality. Another day. For you, <laughs> for you people who are colorblind. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretending some things are not happening. We you need know. to talk about these things and we need to 
bring them to attention. Sadly. Yeah. So, R.I.P. To, that's somebody's nan, you know somebody's I mean? sister, some somebody's auntie. You know what I'm saying? Just exterminated. Like that. It's, it's, For no reason. Yeah, I'm kind of like, am I getting desensitized to it? I don't even really watch videos of black people getting like hurt or killed on online because I know what they're trying to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Trying to, the, the point is to get you angry and then you're not going to really do anything about it. So you can go outside. <laughs> but you, the chances are you're not just going, ah, that's, that's about getting, you're not out of order, man. Oh, hey, why are they killing us like that? That's yeah. what they, that's what is, again, that's, yeah. that's, that, that's, that's the end goal, though, isn't it, of the representation of this in, um, in the media. Yeah. You know. No, that's a shame. But, um. So, I'll just read, I thought, let me just see what the comments are saying on this yeah. video. Yeah, yeah. So, I see... first one as a gun owner this guy had no justification for shooting that poor woman he needs to go to jail second one the person that ordered the uber trip set her up to die yeah the person needs to be prosecuted completely Third comment. old man isn't innocent because he took her phone and shot her multiple times when she never attacked him the shooting wasn't in self-defense yeah fourth comment he was not threatened by this poor woman. Shameful. Fourth comment. I don't care that he got a prank call. She clearly was not threatening him. She was pleading for help. Yeah. He murdered her in cold no. blood. So, I mean, that just, you know, it's a resounding no on this one. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs a, an agreement in that. And it actually, it doesn't even need to be as divisive as it needs to be, uh, as you would think it would be. It's as clear as day. Everyone's actually looking at this for what it really is. A man in a different position killing another human being, you know? Uh, uh, look at the, this, again, back to the, back to the media, MSNB. Yeah. Oh, my days. Someone's gone. I can't believe they call this murdering old man a victim the presenter yeah. did, did you see how he spoke about it yeah. the victims in this case yeah victims this is the propaganda right this is what people happened. people are fucking have had enough they're not they're seeing through yeah. all the bs you know that's purported from the media yeah. like this is what, what what you can't put, who's giving that guy the fucking script yeah. two victims what what is he a victim of Oh, because the... What is he a victim of? He's, a, he's also a victim of the hoax. But anyway, you know, w this is it. Let us know what you think. Sorry, I thought it was MSNBC. No, it's CB News. Um, my bad. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a joke thing anyway. But again, it's tragic that we have to like bring these kind of things up where people who look like you... You know, not even just look like you, man. To most people, that's just outrageous. That's just appalling. That's terrible. That's most people don't actually agree. Like most white people in America are, don't agree with this. This is just parasites. This is like gun holders in America are pretty responsible for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So yeah, it's just again, this is America, isn't it? This is literally America. You know, so if I just think black people in these situations should just be more strategic i know you don't who gets who expects to what get do you mean strategic what are you talking when about? i when i say strategic because i've seen videos of black people black men and women where there's been a dispute amongst their children and white children and a black man's gone over to to knock on the door you know, to address the situation, guy pulls out a gun, you know, and the black guy's got his missus, they're just screaming, they're screaming, how oh, about this, how oh, about this? They got their phone out, you know, because they're two, the white um, parents' children um, said something racist to the kid, you know, and the kid, okay, right. yeah, trying racial slurs at them, banging on the door, you know what I'm saying? But um, I think their kid ran off, ran to their home, and then the dad come out with his missus, they went to bang on their door, the guy pulls out a gun, like, no one was hurt, but I'm just like... And another one with this black woman, like, I think it was in the south of Florida, I think, who was um, a manager at McDonald's, 
again, like her child was racially abused by this apparently by this old white lady. You know what I'm saying? She she's gone to go check her about the situation with her kids present. The woman shot her through the door. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? A, a couple times, killed her in front of her kids. Do you know, it's a reoccurring theme. Yeah, yeah. Like so, that's what I mean about like black people being more strategic. I'm not saying live in fear, but understand the history of this country. Understand like <laughs> your your environment and like. No, I don't even want to say know your place because it's their country, yeah, isn't that's it? What I'm but saying, you get treated as like, second class citizen. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's that's, the, that's the reality of it. So I'm if I'm in a country like that and I'm black, you're not killing me for free. Yeah, yeah. You're not you're not so I I don't I'm I'm from the UK, I'm from London, I'm here saying nah black I'm not saying black people should do better when you know, but you know what time it is. You know how they move, whether it's law enforcement, or whether it's fucking um citizens, you know. So you gotta take precautions and, and, and expect the worst. Like, I'll rather, I'll rather shoot it out of you. But you know? But that's a shame. But but it's the, the truth, it's the, it's the realities. Yeah. It's the reality. Why are you gonna keep getting slaughtered like fucking animals and, and killed like fishes in a barrel? Yeah. No, all that needs to stop. This is what I'm like. If any person from America is watching this of color, you know, sorry to speak like this because it's not nice seeing shit like this. The system ain't gonna change in America. Yeah. Ain't gonna fucking change over there. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta do everything that you can, yeah, to fucking protect your life. Yeah. <laughs> Self defense, like they like to believe in in America. Do you know what I mean? And a lot of people that are victims in this situation are law abiding black people. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? If you're a thug or you're a gang member, this is happening. Cool. I'm, even that's wrong, but you know what I mean? You're, this is, that's your world. You're, you know, a lot of the time. You know, it's criminals against criminals. Cool, but it's when the black people who are not criminals get caught up in this bullshit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, that's that's my point, man. You know, that you you're not gonna get no justice in America yeah, if you if you're a black person like that. Check the fucking in- internet. Check the, his- check the fucking you know historically how America have treated black people. So, yeah, man. Let us know what you think, anyway. Yeah, R.I.P. the Lisa Hall. Yeah, R.I.P. Nan. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame. So, yeah, like, share. Let us know what you think about America and its gun culture and these situations that have a racial undertone to it. Yeah. Peace, everyone. Over and out. Bye.